Hey guys, it's Megan. I'm taking a break from doing some dishes and straightening up the kitchen, and I got a good portion of the stuff packed for our trip this weekend. I was talking to one of my um, husband's friends online that we're supposed to see this weekend, and he was giving me a little background on him, and we have some similar interests in TV shows and movies and you know, stuff like that. So it was it was nice to sit and talk to somebody. Um, it's hard sometimes for people who don't understand if you have ailments or limitations on things that you can do. They just assume, oh, you look able-bodied, you're just, you know, you're fine, you're just making it up. Over the years, I used to think the same thing, but then when it happens to you and you realize you can't do the things that you want to do, it gets discouraging. So I'm just fortunate that where I'm at in my life right now, I have support from my husband, and there's a support group out there, a support system. There's lots of support groups out there just to you know, keep you going when you feel like you don't want to anymore. So, um, if you ever feel like that, you should seek out some family or friends or go see a counselor or, you know, find somebody you can trust and just confide in them because it's good for the soul and you just have to get it out. Then you can heal and start to move on. Um, let's see... Tomorrow, I have to figure out if we're going to um, try and stay with somebody when we're down there, or if we're going to get a room somewhere and where we're going to get a room at. I don't know the area, so I know you can go online and look, and I've done that, but, you know, I just don't, I don't know where anything is down, down there, so... We'll figure it out. I mean, my husband's from that area, so he should know th should know that and stuff. And I'll get to see an area that I've never really seen before. Or I might have seen it by driving through between, you know, Florida and Virginia and Maryland. And we used to do the trip. We've done the trip to Maryland all the way up from Florida. So um, drive all the way up from Florida to Maryland, drive all the way back down. So I mean, it's not as if I haven't driven through North Carolina before. I just don't know what area I'm going to be at or where I've been at. So I hope it's some new stuff that I can see and check out because I want the trip to be fun. I don't want it to be boring. And, you know, meet new people and have some stories to tell and bring you guys along. I'm packing my um, digital camera and or our digital camera and my tablet and the computer and hopefully between all those devices I can get some pretty good um, pictures and video this weekend. Um, my iPhone seems to take excellent pictures so if worst case scenario I just take a bunch of pictures with my iPhone and hopefully I can find Wi-Fi somewhere so that I can upload them. If not then when I get back on you know the end of the weekend I can do that from the house. So not really too worried about that. I just want to make sure I have some stuff to talk about instead of, hey guys, I'm taking a trip. Hey guys, I'm back. Eh, nothing really happened, you know? I have to have some stories. So, anyways, um, I'm just playing catch up on some of my uh, shows now. I was watching Big Brother from season three earlier today, and I started watching um, today's Young and the Restless earlier today I had it on, um, I found it on YouTube and I was watching it and I was thinking I haven't read much about what's going on in this show it looks like they're trying to kill off one of the main characters and I was watching it and I messaged one of my friends I said are they you know killing off Nikki and then by the end of the episode, I told her, I wrote back, I'm like, never mind. Because it was just, it was inter an intervention for somebody. Then it was, somebody was drinking. Then she collapsed and supposedly died. And then 
she had to go through all the stages to realize that she wasn't dead, even though it looked like she was. She was in a rehab center, and I'm sure they're going to have a long storyline with that. I don't know if they'll keep her there for a while, and we won't see her, or if we'll be along for the journey. But, um, alcoholism is a big deal. It's bad if you're an alcoholic and or believe you could be or know somebody that is you should seek help because alcoholics don't get better they get worse unless they seek out treatment drink responsibly and be aware of your I guess what you can handle in your um I'm not sure what it's called. You're, uh, I don't know. Just be aware of your limitations and stuff like that. So, all right. I'm going to let you guys go for now. I'll be back later at some point. Bye.